let's prove the trig identity that the left is equal to the right. And how we're going to start off by doing this is I'm going to stick to two, a main component here. I'm going to use uh, the double angle of the uh, cotangent. But what we're going to do um, is we're going to break this down. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have two, and then the cotangents, the cosine theta over the sine theta times the cotangent, double angle of cotangent. You can rewrite this as co cosine of 2 theta over sine 2 theta. Now what happens here is, uh, I'm not going to go through all the steps, but I'm going to rewrite this uh, 2 times cosine theta. And the uh, cosine, double angle of the sine, or cosine 2 theta, there's several different ways you can write it, but the one that we need for this problem is going to be cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. And then on the bottom here, we have sine theta. And then the double angle of the sine is sine theta is 2 sine theta, the equivalent of it, cosine theta. All right, so what we're going to do now is um, partly combine like terms. So I'm going to rewrite this down here. So we get 2 cosine theta, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta all over 2 sine squared theta cosine theta. So these cosines cancel each other out. These twos cancel each other out. So we're left with cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta all over sine uh, squared theta. We're almost there. So what happens next is I'm going to partition these apart. So I'm going to break them down into cosine squared theta over sine squared theta minus sine squared theta over sine squared theta. So this becomes 1, and this right here in the left portion is equal to the cotangent squared theta. So we have our cotangent squared theta minus 1. And that's it. That's how you do it.